Begin lying on your back. Comfortably put your hands on your chest or on your abdomen or even at your sides. If it's difficult to lie with your legs extended, you can bend your knees. This should make your lower back feel more comfortable. And let's begin with chest breathing. Breathe in comfortably through your nose and breathe out comfortably through your mouth. The goal here is to gently stretch your rib cage and begin to relax your mind with easy, natural breaths. Focus on the feeling in your chest. You may begin to feel the breath coming deeper into your abdomen. Breathe naturally. Don't force yourself to take deep breaths. Whatever you notice, accept the feeling and continue to focus on your body. Now let's do toe tapping. Toe tapping exercise is very good for increasing the circulation in your lower body, relaxing your upper body, and releasing tension from your waist, your hips, and your back. Shake your legs actively while keeping your upper body relaxed. Try to open your feet wide enough that the outside touches the floor or comes close to touching the floor. If it's painful to tap your feet together, just move them a little wider apart and shake. And don't forget to breathe. When you stop, you should notice a sensation, maybe a vibration or tingling in your lower body. And breathe in and breathe out comfortably. Now bend your knees again, and let's begin intestine exercise. If you're unfamiliar with this exercise, it simply requires you to move the abdominal muscles in and out. Try to move the muscles below your belly button. This exercise can help to increase the circulation and awareness of your core. It can also help to release tension and strengthen the muscles. Try to breathe comfortably even while you're moving your abdomen. Remember, this is not a breathing exercise. As you move your abdomen, your breath should stay slow and relaxed. As you keep practicing, you may feel the movement extending deeper and deeper into your muscles and even reaching to your first chakra at the base of the pelvis.
Stop and feel the sensation in your core. Now let's do a twisting stretch. Keeping the feet wide apart, you can drop both knees to one side, turn your head the other way. Feel the twist across your waist, lower back and hips. Don't forget to breathe. Slowly switch sides. Try to keep both shoulders comfortably on the ground. Breathe deeply into your core, feeling the stretch as you inhale. Relax as you exhale. Feel free to switch from side to side multiple times. If one side feels tighter than the other, spend a little bit more time breathing in that position. Now let's do the bridge posture. Bring your feet a little closer to your body and push your hips up off the mat. You can keep your hands resting on your lower abdomen and begin intestine exercise. This is a very powerful exercise to open up blockages in your lower back and hips and increase the circulation and the depth of your breathing. Try to keep your upper body as relaxed as possible. Breathe comfortably as you move your abdominal muscles in and out. You should feel some sensation in your pelvic muscles and lower back. This is a really great exercise to strengthen your core and improve the condition of your legs. It is also very good for your first chakra. If you need a break, you can bring your hips down, but continue intestine exercise. When you're ready, try it again. The deeper you go, the more benefit you'll feel. Now stop and take a couple deep breaths, feeling the expansion from inside your lower abdomen. Feel the pressure extending all the way to the base of your pelvis. Imagine breathing in through your lower back. Slowly bring your hips down. Go ahead and stretch out your legs. And one more time, let's do toe tapping. 
to release any tension in the hips and lower back. Breathe comfortably, relax your upper body. Feel the sensation of heaviness in your center and in your lower body. Slowly stop. Rest your hands comfortably on your lower abdomen, your danjan. Take a few deep breaths. Feel the energy, warmth, and power gathering in your core. You may feel some tension in the muscles after that workout, but just relax and let things open up naturally. If it's more comfortable, bend your knees, tuck the tailbone, and you should feel your lower back become more naturally comfortable. By focusing on your core while you breathe, you can actually increase the feeling of energy. Maintain a comfortable focus inside your body. Let's finish up with some gentle stretches for the lower back and hips. You can hug your knees and rock side to side, massaging the lower back, or pulling your knees in towards you, or even doing a circle. Try to bring your knees together and continue stretching. Gently massage the lower back with this movement, finding all the little places that might be tight or blocked. And slowly release. And let's do hip bouncing exercise. So keeping your feet on the floor, gently bounce your pelvis and lower back up and down It's important to have a soft surface. You don't want to do this on a hard floor. Feel the sensation and vibration in your core, in your hips, in your spine. As you stop, take a deep breath and you should feel a sense of heaviness, tingling or vibration. Go ahead and stretch out your legs and let's do one more minute of deep relaxation. Imagine your whole body is breathing and new energy is coming in, old energy is going out. And let your whole body feel heavy, your head, neck and shoulders. Feel your arms and chest and relax all the way down your spine. And when you're ready, slowly turn to the side and sit up.